Okay, so I decided to do a voiceover for the first time uh, ever. <laughs> uh, the reason being is because you just heard there there's a lot of background noise because I live on the edge of a busy street whenever I make videos. So, <laughs> um, in this video I'm going to be um, installing these speakers, their Alpine Type S coaxial, into my Jeep. Now, I blew the left ones, they were uh, Alpine type S components and the difference between the two is that the components have uh, uh, you can separate the tweeters between the two so without further ado let's uh, get started first things you need is a Phillips screwdriver a flat screwdriver and wire strippers now, first thing you want to do is uh, behind your door handle there's a little plastic cover uh, about two inches big you stick the flat in there and twist and it should pop right out and then uh, secondly, you want to um, come up there to the top and uh, just, if you're lucky to have those little screw covers, you just do the same thing with the flat. You stick it in there and just pry it open. And that, that makes all the screws visible. Then you take a Phillips, just like a regular number two Phillips, stick it in there and unscrew all the screws that you can. Once you're done removing all the screws, you simply lift up slightly and yank on the door. Don't be scared. Uh, that was a screw that fell out there. Couldn't get it out with a screwdriver. Uh, and then, you know, just carefully work it off. And then you'll have some wires connected to it, just like you see here. Uh, you want to take off the top one first because it's uh, holding the door. It gives you a little bit more room to get to the uh, one with the yellow part there. Uh, and with that yellow one, I know my first time taking it off, I was just so frustrated I ended up breaking it, but it stays in there anyway. But if you go look on the back side, I'm looking at my crotch now. <laughs> but if you look on the back side, you can see there uh, that yellow clip. Um, see, it just comes right out because mine's broken. But right there in the middle, uh, you just have to stick a screwdriver in and kind of twist to force it out and pull up at the same time. And, and that's how you uh, remove it. All right, these wires you see me playing with now, they're for the tweeter. So don't worry about them. But basically, step two after removing the panel, obviously, would be to unscrew the speaker or take it off, however which way it's mounted to your specific vehicle, uh, and then snip the wires and just simply splice them. And off it comes. You can see all the junk connected to it. And yeah, that just ripped off the wires there. No big deal. Okay, here I'm just, uh, I guess, putting solder on the wire. Uh, to make it a little easier and then uh, if you have solder on the wire you can just put it to the connection and just sort of like put a tiny bit of solder on there to hold it if you have no one to help you then you can put solder on the rest but you can't see me in this shot so uh, on the other door you can see a little better also a little trick is if you put the speaker in backwards and search for a little hole like that uh, just screw it in lightly and that way uh, no one has to hold the speaker for you if you're working by yourself if you're soldering. Here I am putting the door back on and you just want to uh, kind of line up one or two plastic things and then the rest will just just snap right back on. You just just kind of hit it right back on and then and feed the screws in and you'll be good to go. Also don't forget to put the connectors back together. And just repeat the same on this side. Undo the plastic cover, undo the other two covers to reveal the screws. Take your panel off, pick up stuff that fell on the ground, and uh, set that thing aside. Undo the speaker screws, remove it, splice the connections again, and get ready for soldering. Or just put the connectors on, however you feel. For those of you who didn't know what I was talking about previously, stick the screw in the speaker uh, backwards, uh, screw it on. You only need one, and then uh, pull out the wire and you don't have to have anyone hold it while you're soldering. And just getting the wire ready, just stick a bit of solder on there. You can stick it in the hole on the male end on the speaker, and it'll hold itself, and then you can just solder it into place, and then do the back side, and you're done. Then quickly do the other side. This time there's no hole on that uh, skinny prong, so you kind of have to hold it on there and solder at the same time. And uh, quickly check if they're snug. Then flip the speaker around, align the holes, and put in the rest of the screws. Move your tweeter around if you so please. 
if this is your first time putting door panels back on uh, and you're having trouble, uh, you might want to make sure the uh, door handle is sticking through the little hole there. Uh, that will prevent you from putting it on. Then uh, slam it all into place. Then again, do all your screws. Followed by your covers, which just snap back into place. Turn on the radio and give it a listen. Heard an English voice saying who she picked for the first draft choice. Rhyming on staff. Standing in the stairs, you knew more about the game. Old John Cherry, every word that came from her mouth really shocked me. Kidding, until further news, I shall talk to you later. So yeah, do you like the voiceover better? I don't know if I do. I, I kind of do, for, you know, production-wise, maybe helps people uh, follow along better. But I like the live sound better. It's more, like, acoustic. But maybe if I get a better microphone, it would be, it'd be pretty slick. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you like uh, this better over live.